Welcome to Train Crew. This Japanese rail simulator, described by many as a spiritual successor to Densha de Go, is currently in early access on Steam. In this video, I'll cover the basics of operating a commuter train as we experience the free demo. Let's go by train. Our journey starts at the fictional Nijigahama station. The doors are about to close, so we'll listen for the guard's buzzer before we depart. With the start signal received, I'll apply power and begin to explain how this thing works. First of all, our maximum permitted speed as defined by the ATS train protection system is displayed on this panel to the right side of the dashboard. Similar to Densha to Go, the game awards points based on driving performance. A thorough breakdown is provided at the end of each level, which I'll show at the time. The next station is Taiganko N. The signal ahead is green, but as we approach it, you'll notice some markers on the track. I'll explain these in detail further on our journey, as they only apply to restrictive signals. I'll reduce the throttle as we reach 100 km per hour. The game recommends you stay 10 km per hour below the maximum speed. As we approach the station, we'll soon hear a double buzzer from the guard. This is the signal that we'll be stopping at the station ahead. Although the braking curve is not displayed in this train, an in-cab signal is displayed when we enter the braking pattern. As we brake, if our deceleration falls outside of the pattern, that is if we're going too fast, the pattern signal turns amber and we hear an audible alert. Our stop mark is clearly highlighted on the track ahead, but you can also use the car stop boards located trackside. Our number of carriages is printed to the left of the speedometer. We'll be stopping at the four car board today. You can see our score building in the top left of the screen. There's also a health bar which depletes if you make mistakes. As the doors close and we receive the start signal, it's time to depart. I'll skip ahead a bit after departure so I can demonstrate some of the signaling systems. Approaching a station further down the line, you'll notice that the signal at the end is displaying green and yellow. This signifies a maximum permitted speed of 85 km per hour. Skipping past the station stop, as we pass the signal, the ATS speed display changes to 85. As we are accelerating, it will be pretty easy to just back off as we reach 75 or so. We don't spend too long at 75, as the next signal is displaying single yellow. The speed restriction at these signals is 55. They're sometimes followed by a double yellow, which have a speed limit of 25. However, in this case, the single yellow is followed by a restrictive red signal at the end of the platform. Approaching the platform, you'll notice three boards placed trackside along our path. These are labelled R40 and R25. Between stations, there's usually an additional board labelled R0. These boards denote target speeds, which must be adhered to in the event that the signal ahead is red. As we're calling at this station, we'll keep our speed below the limits on the boards and stop at the four-car marker before the red signal. With the stop complete, it's time to see how we performed. B rank, not bad. I need to work on ride quality or politeness of acceleration and braking, as the game calls it. That concludes our first look at the train crew demo. I'll certainly be purchasing the full version. If Japanese train sims are your thing, perhaps check out some of the recommended videos shown here, and maybe even subscribe for regular sim content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.